I'm here in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress with Abel Mayal, who is the Senior Vice President of Technology and Markets at uh, Airspan. Thank you very much. Yeah. So let's go back to 2021. And what were some of the key challenges that OpenRAN faced that year? I would say that the main challenge we have for, um, for OpenRAN was uh, integration-wise. We saw that we have uh, you know, a, a very robust product, but then you have to integrate it with different parts of the ecosystem. So we noticed that in order to be in the market, it takes time to, to, to have it deployed. So what we started doing at, at Diaspan was to start doing the integration by ourselves. So we call all the ecosystem partners, like you know, from radio vendors, like 5G core vendors, you know, all that brings the virtual infrastructure, like servers, devices, and we started doing the integration ourselves. And the end, we came up with the idea of doing like 5G network in a box that we won a prize in 2021, December. And basically what we did is like pre-install the whole concept with all the partners that we have tested and bring it to the market. And then we reduce the, the, the deployment phase instead of maybe one month of integration to one day. So we ship it and it work out. It was been one of the most successful uh, pieces of, of solution that we have sold. That's amazing. I like that you turned a challenge into one of the most <laughs> successful yeah, you, success <laughs> stories for Airspan. Totally. So what strategic markets are looking at OpenRAN? Look, there are many. We're focusing on three. Uh, of course, MNOs, so carriers are a big one. Uh, I mean, we have, uh, we're the main radio providers for, for uh, Rakuten in Japan. But we can see that many others, you know, tier one MNOs are looking at Open Run very aggressively. So we are now, uh, we are now working with them, doing trials and proving the Open Run, right? There are many ones, there are many announced that they are, they are um, they are pushing for open run, right? In, in five years, seven years, they're going to have like a big percentage of the network using open run. So MNOS will be MNOS will be the one. The second one is private networks. This is a booming, right. a booming market yeah. that we have seen. Uh, a lot of partnerships going on. Um, we see the countries that they have given dedicated frequencies, like for example, the UK, Germany, US with the CBRS. Uh, private networks is, is very, very uh, interesting market. And Open Run provides this, um, this flexibility of deployment, right? You can move the, 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 the software, so your private network, you can host it in premises, you can put it in the cloud, right? As you can see that, for example, we announced as well this, this Amazon partnership uh, last week. So um, we believe that this one is one of the, of the main markets that we're going to target as well. And the third one, we, want to, we like to call it like CBRS because of the frequency, because it opens a, a lot of possibilities there. And they're like a, like a, a mix of, of open run and, and different type of architecture. And we are learning a lot from that market because we see that open run, uh, you know, like, you know, a standard or an alliance split, 7.2 is very valuable, but also other splits going to a split 2, 3GPP, or even going to a full G0B, in some cases are interesting there. Also, you know, you have the cable operators being very strong as well using CBRS Spectrum. Yeah. And it's all, another aspect in CBRS that we are making a lot of focus with open run. So yeah, I mean, very exciting market uh, players. So we started this conversation with 2021, but now what about 2022? What key next steps are you expecting for open run? Okay, so we see, first of all, partnership is very important. We have announced, I mean, we have a very successful week in Mobile Congress. We announced uh, like partnerships with Amazon, but also with uh, HPE, Dell, Cisco. So partners are going to be a key driver of Open Run. They are also very, very active in the Open Run, uh, the Open Run ecosystem. So partnership is one of our key values that we see for 2022. Second, technology-wise, like, um, for example, scalability, like going very small, as we have done with the network in a box uh, that I mentioned before. And, and, and bring this, uh, this learning from this network box to, to bring even more simplicity in the deployment. I think that is key, keeping this high performance of the new features. But then we have, um, for example, another feature that we believe is going to be important for the industry is like, uh, like interoperability with Wi-Fi, something that is missing with 5G. We believe that Wi-Fi is a main player in the enterprise. Yeah. And I think that we are better together. So we have to create this single uh, pane glass 5G and Wi-Fi is something that we're going to work as well hard in, 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 in 2022. And of course, like trying to keep going with all the 3GPP releases um, to, to bring the, the best performance in our equipment in 5G uh, for uh, for the industry and up and running. So. Yeah, well, it sounds like a lot of exciting stuff. Oh, so yeah. thank you so much. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah. Thank you.